contest and giving away two and a half stones. So, round three, six to go, no score. Two falls to decide this part. H, Dave Finley in the tights, the usual Shamrock knee versus Pitt Faulkner of Bolton. off Faulkner for the hair pull and the punch but when Finley throws him out of the way you'll remember that too oh nicely missed walked past that one nicely oh straight down of the knees straight down of the knees Find that perfectly. Princess Paula around there quickly to see what's happened. Help him back in the ring. Get back in there, she said. <laughs> Meantime, Vic Faulkner, a slight grin on his face there. As he, sees, he had nothing to do with that at all. Beautiful backflip right out of the ring then. Finley. Half a minute to go, round three. Oh yes, caught him nicely. Three, three, oh, oh. Let him up, let him up. Yeah. Oh, three, three. Yeah. 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 here for Finley, but he's only got seven seconds. If he can get it. He hasn't got it yet. Three seconds. Too late. Finley doesn't want to let go. And the bout is continuing in the interval. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Vic Paul is getting a little tired of Paula's mouth. quite so mad with Paula then. I've never seen it before. He's uh, really lost his cool. He did for a second there, I think. He's had enough of her mouth, he said. So five rounds to go. Still no score. Two falls to the side. that time beautifully on the knee oh the knee caught him and Faulkner in trouble from that one or is he yes then he goes down with a slam a cross press and should have it quite easily this time yes the first ball to Finley in round four just under a minute of round four halfway through the bout one fall up Finley
So, Finley takes quite a time considering his weight advantage to go one fall ahead. But he's one fall ahead now and still getting advice from his manager, Vincent Paul. Four to go. Oh. And Fulton came right over to drop kick. To drop kick uh, Finley. Finley Duck saw him coming. And he landed on Paula. Oh, she have something to say about that. And Fulton has got to return. Double leg Nelson return. And Finley was still arguing. And Fulton comes back in the one fall each. Makes it a one fall each. Beautiful equalizer. And Paul is so mad about that drop kick, she caught right in the chest. The right hand side of her body there. And her husband doesn't like it. He was arguing about it when Prince Paul uh, got the equalizer so quickly. He's quite happy. He's quite happy. One fall each card, three to go. And suddenly checking to make sure that his wife is all right. Fulton is still with a grin on his face. He didn't mean to drop kick the girl. He just going for Finley and she, he had to duck and she had to be standing on the other side of him but now Finley's getting his revenge a little for which he gets a public warning and now Finley's turning the ref out of the way again special the old royal brothers trick the flying oh yes and a foul press oh yeah yeah nearly a win for Faulkner there he's the score with a couple of minutes to go six and anything that happens still here one public warning against Finley Tremendous flying monkey climb there by Faulkner. Reminiscent to the Royal Brothers at their best there. Hey, three, three, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Finley's not a happy man at this time at all. <laughs> He's getting less happy by the second. Uh oh. Got old Alice Lamb, but he's the fist went in, the referee saw it and won't allow the move. Less than a minute to go. Dave Reese, the referee. Dave Reese from Chef Shrewsbury insists that they break and finally get the break. Not tall enough, Paul, look at that. Oh, yeah. The score still one fall each, and one public body against Finley. Just seven seconds to go. It's a good thing that uh, Finley didn't land that one. He would have got a second public warning, but Faulkner might have been flat in his face. Just the bell, save it. Still, a lecture from Paula on what he should do with his opponent here in these last two rounds. Faulkner, not too unhappy. Still the grin on his face.
Wrong seven, two to go, one fall each, and Finley and the tights on the right there with one public warning against them. And incidentally, Marty Jones fans will be delighted to know that he's got a, a bout against Finley on Saturday, December the 1st. That's on television from the Orchard Dartford. That is, of course, for the world mid-heavyweight title that Finley is now uh, the reigning champion. And Marty Jones has been waiting for months to get a chance at his, that title, but he lost to this man, Finley. Well, he's got that chance. It's going to be on television. The promoters always said it would be, and they've kept their word. December the 1st, from Dartford at the Orchard. That's, of course, if Finley still retains the title, the world title, up to that date. Meantime, Vic Fulton do his oi. That's a very good landing. Yes, all right. Too resilient this boy. Oh, Finley going over the top. Trying for the flying tackle. Comes out all the way. Fulton is so cunning. Most of the Finley. Oh, and that's not a good. Let's see what sort of a landing that is. Yes, he's all right. He's back. He gets back every time, regardless. And it's a backbreaker over the shoulder, and he makes submission there. And Finley gets Faulkner in a winning submission in round seven in just one minute, 43 seconds of round seven. The winner, Finley, two to one.